Hi and welcome to the second part. So I assume that if there was a problem with the weight, whenever the blade was inside, this part would have collapsed on it and I would have resistance, but I can easily put it in and out, so I assume that I can remove it safely. So many assumptions. This, yeah. this guy is rotten as well, the corner. This is scary. So what I'll do is install gently this guy. And if it will collapse on it, then I'm fucked. But from the looks of it, I don't know what is holding this thing together. All of this started due to a small hole at the bottom of the drywall. The more I opened it, the more damage unveiled. Nothing collapsed. I don't understand. What is holding this thing together? I don't. I just don't. Try to cut underneath, under this thing. I'll remove the lower pieces so the nails will not be in the way. And this is what I'm trying to insert, the bottom plate. I've created metal flushing for the corner to keep water away from the treated lumber. Treated lumber will rot if exposed to water, much slower than non-treated lumber, but it will eventually rot off. I had to cut a small piece from the end so it will fit.
I had to trim the bottom plate so it will fit. I used my table saw, but since the blade is not long enough, I trimmed one half, then rotated it and trimmed the other. I'm doing it in an angle. And if you notice, it's not straight. I couldn't make it straight, I just copied the existing structure. So I don't want to say it's my fault. Probably it is, but there's nothing I can do about it. And a closer look from the inside. Now it's clear that the initial small hole at the bottom of the drywall was an outcome of a much bigger water damage, which extended throughout the entire wall. So in total, more than 13 joists were impacted and the entire seal plate and bottom plate were eventually replaced. I found that removing cedar siding can be done by gently cutting the nails with metal blade, then extracting the nail heads by tapping with a hammer around them. The other approaches I tried always broke or cracked pieces I didn't plan to replace. I wanted to slide full pieces of plywood, which are 4x8, to save time on pre-cutting. So I had to make enough space for it. That's why I'm cutting the old one. As you can already see, there wasn't any Tyvek behind the siding. That's one of the ways the water penetrated and created this damage. About the nails, what to do about the nails. So what I'm doing is whatever I can I extract and what I can't I just got it.
I had to cut the electrical wire yeah from the inside it was in the way and this is why it's like this I don't show it but I shut off the electricity to the garage then validated that there is no current in the cable and only then cut it and seal it so it will not kill anyone if you do it on your own please use your head Now I need to extract the nails that I previously cut. To do it, I'm tapping slightly next to it. Then pulling it out, or whatever remains from it. So I'm extracting the remains. It looks something like this. And then I will use my grinder underneath and cut the other piece. Created some silicone here, sealant, whatever, call it whatever you want. Start from the bottom and then the top. I decided to remove the siding around the garage. Since I anyhow slowly shaving and staining it to a different color, but in this case, since the pieces are so small, it's just easier to replace the entire thing. And since I'm already there, I'm doing a proper flushing. Another way the water penetrated was through holes in the mortar between the bricks. I solved it by applying new mortar. Unfortunately, the approach I chose burned my hands. One of the fingers looked like a third degree burn. This happened since I constantly soaked my hands in the same bucket having water and mortar. I tried changing the water when it got grey, but apparently it wasn't enough and was too late. The chemical reaction continued. Another problem with this approach is huge waste of material. And I'm going to use a knife and cut it. Another problem with the mortar approach I chose is that now I need to pressure wash it and it takes several attempts. Now I'm going to go over the seams and again from the bottom up and yesterday I hurt my finger so this is why my wife is helping me I'm still not sure if to show it to you or not but basically it's like a third degree burn from the concrete when I was doing the mortar not concrete but from the mortar beautiful so if you do it on your own, even gloves won't save you. And if it's painful, stop. I just, I said I need to finish the job. <laughs> 